welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a full-time reseller and I sell mostly pre-owned, pre-loved clothing on places like eBay and Poshmark. Jasper is coming to say hi already. I just filmed a video. The video that went up last Friday, I just got done filming and this is the second half of that haul. Yesterday, I went to the Goodwill outlet also known as the Goodwill Bins, which is where you pay by the pound instead of by the piece. And at my Goodwill Bins, I pay $1.89 per pound. You come and say hi. He always has to check out my thrift store pieces afterwards. There he is. But I have a huge tote here. Oh, filled to the brim of the rest of the things that I found at the Goodwill outlet yesterday. My average cost of goods was only 88 cents per piece. And yeah, like I said, I posted the first half of this haul on Friday. So if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and check that out after you're done this video. They're done in no particular order. And honestly, I don't even remember what is in this tote right here. I haven't inventory any of this stuff in this tote yet. But by the time this video goes live, everything in this tote will be listed. Also, I believe this video is going up on Halloween. So I figured I would wear a pumpkin kind of Halloween-y shirt. And happy Halloween. I hope you and your family enjoys it. And yeah, so let's just jump right into the haul. Like I said, I don't remember a lot of these pieces that I have in here because I have not entered any of these pieces into my spreadsheet yet. But I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. I do remember this is a Lane Bryant piece, size 26 slash 28. Super cute, cheetah print, kind of chunky knit pullover. If I had to guess, probably about 25 for that. This is a vintage 100% wool skirt. Now, I have sold wool skirts like this in the past by brands like Woolrich and Pendleton. Actually, I just recently sold a bundle of two vintage Woolrich skirts on Poshmark for $54. Now, those I only paid a dollar a piece about six months ago. So, if you can find vintage skirts that are wool, they can do decently well. So, this is a long pleated skirt, 100% wool, like I said. I have no idea what this brand is is I think it is John or no what does that even say oh AH Austin Hill okay Austin Hill so yeah I'm not sure but if I had to guess about $35 and this next piece is again 100% wool this is by TWCC and Evan Picone company again vintage women's size 10 but I love this multicolor kind of that western -y vibe to it hipster vibe knee length again if I had to guess about $35 for that now I do remember I found a handful of kids pieces yesterday and a lot of them I'm probably going to be lotting up together because a lot of them are the same sizes most of them are vintage and I just could not leave them behind so we will get to them then but this is one of the kids pieces I found yesterday this is definitely vintage I honestly don't even know what that tag says but I just thought this was so adorable so freaking cute with the plaid sleeves and I believe this is probably like I don't know, honestly, my son might fit this. My son is too. I might have him try this on, but I think this might be even smaller than that. Maybe not though. So the size tag is worn off of this, but I'm going to have my son try it on. And if it fits him, then I'm going to list it as a 2T. But yeah, I thought that was super cute. This next piece, let me see here. This, I believe, is new because it has this bag attached. It is a packable puffer jacket, but the brand is SPRZ New York. I'm not exactly sure, but this is a down-filled, super lightweight puffer jacket, which is why I got it. I did not look this up yet, so I have no idea what this is going for, but I love this color. The lining is this super cute pattern. It's in excellent condition, so... This next piece, I don't think it has a tag, like a brand tag, but I could not leave it behind. Honestly, I might try this on for myself. I'm not sure if this is vintage, but it's this super cute midi skirt. Look at the ruffle detailing on that. It kind of has a ruched side there, stretchy waist. I love the color of this floral print. Now this next brand I did look up in the store. This is by Lulu B. This is more of a summer pant, but that's okay. I list all seasons all year. 
women's size A. This is a white pull-on, super stretchy, embroidered seahorse print pants. This I did look up in the Goodwill again. I will look up some pieces in the outlet if I'm unsure of them. Those are going for right around $25. This next piece I do remember is Brooks Brothers piece, extra fine merino wool, men's size, extra, extra large. I love this coral color, v-neck sweater, kind of that chunky, almost a waffle knit. Now, if you see this Goodwill tag on here, some of these pieces from this Goodwill outlet come from Goodwill stores, overflow, things that didn't sell at certain Goodwill stores. And some of the things that come from this outlet are just raw donations, meaning they haven't even been sorted through. They haven't even gone to a Goodwill store. They just go straight to the outlet. And the reason that happens is because Goodwill has so many clothing, so much clothing that they cannot even keep up with it and sell them all and put them all out on their sales floor. And that's why a lot of them end up in the outlet before they even go to the regular Goodwill store. So if you've never went to a Goodwill outlet, just Google Goodwill outlet or Goodwill bins near me. I would Google that. You'll find your closest one. And I would suggest going, even if you have to make a little bit of a drive, definitely worth it. Like for instance, I have to drive about 45 minutes each way when I go to the bins, but like yesterday, like I said, I only paid 88 cents. So that makes it well worth the drive. And I found like 80 pieces yesterday. So I get a bulk amount for super cheap, which makes the drive totally worth it. And you can find some nice gems in the bins. This next piece is a vintage, I believe, Indians hat, which is baseball. It says MLB on the front or on the tag on the inside. Super easy list. I love selling and listing hats. This next piece, I mainly got baseball with style. This is by North River Men's Button Up Short Sleeve Shirt, but I loved this car print. Oh, also, what is that? restaurant yeah i don't know it just kind of has this retro like classic car print if i had to guess that uh, probably about 25 dollars for that this next brand parkhurst i've never heard of this brand but i love the style of this it is layered has a lining in it but it's kind of like crochet almost i let loose knit i'm not exactly sure how to describe that but i just absolutely loved that kind of a lime green color it's coming off much more muted in the camera, but it's kind of like a highlighter lime green. That, again, $25. What are you? Oh, yeah, Banana Republic Premium Luxe Yarn. Size extra large. I would not pick this up in the regular thrift store, but I love the color of this. It's a great size, size extra large. And it said Premium Luxe Yarn yarn which i did not even look up in the outlet i meant to but right now i'm gonna tell you this is a cotton rayon silk cashmere blend so it has silk and cashmere in it which makes sense super soft if i had to guess 25 dollars for that this next piece is a vintage ll bean men's size extra large slightly fitted is the style plaid short sleeve button-up shirt this is a great bread and butter brand for me i love the colors on this that probably $20, $22. This next piece I got because it's a wool blend. I love the style of this. Kind of gives that like collegiate type vibe, college type, preppy type vibe. But this is just Jose Bank or Joseph A. Bank wool cotton blend, chunky knit, cable knit sweater, men's size large. If I had to guess again, 20 to 25 for that. This next piece I do remember is a J. Joe piece, but the size tag was cut out, which is totally fine. I'll just measurement. But if I had to guess, this is definitely a plus size, maybe a 2X. It's this button front dress with the ruffle at the bottom, the super cute floral. And yeah, let's see what material this is. If I had to guess like rayon, yeah, modal. Okay, so cotton, tensile modal, and spandex. So people love modal in their pieces. So I will add that to the title. That way people know that that's a, that comfortable modal material. This next piece is a Wrangler Pearl Snap Vintage Button Up Shirt. If you ever see these pearl snaps, that's what they look like. They're snaps, but they have like that pearl detailing. That is a desirable feature on a lot of shirts, especially by the brand Wrangler. I have sold shirts like this by that brand 
for between $25 to $30. I love this plaid detailing, so I'll probably list this for around $28. Oh, and it says a double XL, which I love. I didn't think the size tag was on there, but it is right there, which is a great size. So, keywords in my title. I will use the words pearl snap, western, plaid, lightweight, because this is super lightweight. Now, this next thing, I did not look up in the store, but I maybe should have, but I don't know. So it's these two hats, both by the same brand. Kind of funky, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's what that one looks like. It has this flower. The brand is Deborah New York. And then on the inside, it also said 100% wool made in the USA, which is why I got it. I know hats like this can go for decent money. And this other hat is the exact same thing by Deborah New York, 100% wool made in the USA. And this is what this one looks like. Super interesting with those embellishments there, sequins. Yeah, I have no idea what these are going for. I have to do comps on those. I did not do comps. But again, I love listing and selling hats. Super easy to photograph and super easy to list. This next piece, I cannot remember what brand this is, but it's a super chunky cardigan. Oh, this is just by the brand BKE, which some of their jeans can do well. But this is a size medium, but it's this super chunky knit long line cardigan kind of has this like heather look with the pops of the different colors of yarn neutral perfect for that this time of year no idea what that would go for probably 22 to 25. this next piece is by tiara international christmas collection this is a button up christmas cardigan i'm gonna button it up really quick at least some of it to show you guys better and i just realized that each of these buttons is a different color which is so freaking cute and just adds more cuteness to this in my opinion but this is a vintage sweater christmas has that patchwork detailing has santa all over it which i freaking love like i said the colors are each or the buttons are each different colors which I thought was so cute. If I had to guess, about $35 for that. Now we're getting into the kids' clothing. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is just the Looney Tunes. New with tags, which is why I got it. Uh, cropped Henley shirt. This actually retailed for $38, which I was like, what? Why? I don't know where that's originally from. But if I had to guess, like $22 to $25 for that. I thought that style was super cute. Now we're going to get into a lot of the kids clothing. In fact, I think most of the kids clothing are all right here because I tried to keep them all together. So like I said, I found a decent amount of kids clothing, which I'm really excited about. A lot of them are the same size. So like I said, I'm probably going to lot a lot of them up depending on the size, but let's just get right into it. This first one is an 18 month. This is a vintage Carter's, oh no, I'm sorry. This is vintage Oshkosh. Look at how old that tag is, but look at how cute this is. This is so white. I don't think this has ever been worn. It's a Santa kind of long john thermal. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on. Let's see. This one's six to nine months. A lot of them were six to nine months. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? It's corduroy, okay, layered. I think this is boys. I think, honestly, this could be either boys or girls. This next one, it says size large. Don't know what that even means, but are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? And it has a little footed pants, which I know when my kids were little babies, those were the best because babies cannot keep socks on. But that's what that tag looks like. The brand is Teddy Bears. I thought this was so cute. Look at the bow. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, this next one, Winnie the Pooh. Of course, could not pass that up. Little Eeyore. There's a little B on the butt. So freaking cute. Definitely vintage again. This is kind of like a fleece sweatshirt material. This one is, let's see here. I can't find the size on this right now. I swear I had it. But if I had to guess, probably six months like a lot of these are. This one is three to six months. Look at how freaking cute that is. This is what this tag looks like. A lot of times with vintage kids clothing, tags don't matter. So stinking cute. Okay, I'm going to try to roll through these other kids pieces pretty quickly. Again, with the corduroy. Are you kidding? 
size six months another corduroy piece here <laughs> i died in the bins are you freaking kidding me little football bear i believe this is six months again six to nine months these all are on paper tags which is a great indication of vintage this a vintage carters super cute i figured i'd just throw that in this isn't too old but this is in really good condition the white is really white super soft since it's the same size as some of the others i figured i would just throw it in this is just a pair of pants 12 to 18 months but again little footed pants so freaking cute another pair of pants this is a vintage nautica size three to six months that's what that looks like I love how these are all like long sleeves and long pants. This is, these are all perfect for this time of year. This I figured I would just throw in since again, it's same size as a lot of them, six to nine months. This just says a pro sport, but I thought the little pocket on the butt was so cute. Oh my gosh, I died. I don't really have any babies in my life right now. Look at this one. Like six to nine months again. Are you kidding me with a corduroy, a chain, a train? Oh, Fisher Price. Fisher Price baby wear. Okay, vintage Fisher Price. I love that. The size is hard to see on that, but if I had to guess, six months, three to six months. Again, vintage, this plaid flannel. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I just cannot. Three to six months. And this last baby piece, again, look how stinking cute. This would just be perfect for Christmas time. Velvet with the plaid, Ugh. six months. So a lot of those are six months. Some of them I might list separately. Some of them I might list together. I have to do a little more research before I decide. This next piece I got based off a of style. This is just New York and Company. That's definitely an older tag. The size tag has been cut out, but that's okay. This gave me that total Y2K vibe embroidery right there, which I love super stretchy tiered skirt this is perfect for this time of year with the brown i'm not exactly sure what i'd be able to list that for but because it's like an older style it's on trend probably about 25 dollars. this next piece is just a great bread and butter piece lucky brand size 1x lucky brand does amazing in plus sizes this looks like it's never been worn just a basic like v-neck 20 bucks for that now these pants, I don't remember what brand these are. Oh, these are Banana Republic. I did look these up at the store. These are going for around $25 to $30, but these are a houndstooth pair of men's vintage straight fit jeans. Banana Republic, like I said, there's the houndstooth. Straight leg, perfect pair of pants for this time of year. Now this I thought was so cute. Somebody threw this back, but I picked it up because I'm like, I just, I love the style of this. And I know somebody else will too. I think that's flowers there. Kind of reminds me of like lemons or oranges. This is just by Airy. One size fits most. Probably 20 to 25 for that. Now this next piece, I actually have something very similar in my closet right now. That's like an olive green and gray color by Adidas. Also vintage. This is a reversible police jacket. Windbreaker style has the logo there and then on the flip side it's like full fleece with the embroidered logo absolutely love that again this is vintage let me find the tag again this is a size large and that's what the tag looks like if i had to guess 35 to 40 dollars for that one this next piece i didn't look up in the store but i loved this i believe this is vintage definitely vintage mv sport pro weave reminded me of the champion reverse weave fabric but this says this says albright which i believe is a college i love the color block like checkered detailing super cute this is so thick like i said it reminds me of the champion reverse weave if you ever felt one of those this feels exactly like it super high quality super nice this next piece I was really excited to find just because of the style. This is St. John's Bay, definitely vintage, men's size, medium tall, plaid shacket, shirt jacket. Shacket is a great keyword you want to use. I love this plaid color, kind of bright. This feels like it's never been worn. And then the inside is a quilted lining. Definitely want to put that in your title as well. 
I have no idea what this will go for, but because it's vintage, because it's bright, because it's a men's medium tall, if I had to guess, I don't know, $35 to $40 for that one. Oh my God, I just got so excited. I forgot about this piece. Oh, I've never, I don't, I think I've heard of this brand, but I don't know. I definitely have never found it before, but if you would feel this, you'd be like, okay, that's just like a basic cotton dress or something. First of all, look at this so pretty it's like a caftan style dress but the brand is j peterman now for some reason when i found this a bit in the bin i felt like i heard of this brand before and i felt like i did comps and it wasn't good but i did comps on j peterman caftan dresses and this is also a one size, but they're selling for upwards of $100, like $80 to $100. I was speechless. And the fact that this is just such a bright floral. Yeah, I should be able to get, I don't know, at least 75 for that. That was probably my best find of the day. This next piece I got based off a of style. This is again, Lane Bryant, 14 to 16 W. I kind of wanted to try this on for myself, but this is kind of a wrap style. Let's see, like a wrap style blouse. I don't think you wrap it. It's kind of like you just tie it in the front, but super cute. Sheer would be a great bathing suit cover up in the summertime. This is kind of what it looks like tie, but it has a ruffle detailing like at the neckline, has ruffles on the sleeves, which I thought was super cute. Yeah, if I had to guess, 20 to 25 for that. And this next piece is actually my last piece. So this is by the brand Point of View. I actually found another skirt by this brand that I left there. Size 10, if I had to guess, this is definitely vintage. And it says dry clean only, but it does not say the material, but feels like wool. I'm not sure if this is handmade, but I just loved this skirt. Button front has this plaid, like kind of patchwork color block detailing. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do more research on this, but if I had to guess at least $35 for this. And then also I bought this huge tote, which everything was in. This is a 119 quart, which is much bigger than the ones I normally buy, but I'm going to use this for some of my sweaters, but I bought this at the bins as well, because a lot of times they have totes like this for sale. Um, and this big one was only $1, which at the store, if you know, these totes are not cheap at all. So this is probably like a $20 tote at the store. So for a dollar, heck yeah. If I can get totes at the bins, I do. So that is the rest of the things that I found yesterday at the Goodwill outlet. I'm really excited about a lot of these pieces. Honestly, I forgot about a lot of them until I just went through them with you guys. But like I said, by the time this video is up, all of these pieces will be listed. But thank you so much for stopping by. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do so you don't miss any future uploads. I've been posting on Tuesday and Friday mornings every single week, and I post short videos or YouTube shorts every single day. Also, if you're not following me on my other social medias, all of that is linked down below. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, as well as links to my stores and everything like that. So thank you so much again for stopping by and I hope you have a great rest of your day.